हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू के के ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी वीडियोज अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू विल गेट इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी लेट्स रिवील इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक अबाउट अवर बॉडी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ मसल्स एंड देयर फंक्शंस हैव यू एवर वंडर हाउ द मसल्स एक्चुअली लुक लाइक वाई दे आर प्रेजेंट इन अवर बॉडी एंड वॉट रोल दे प्ले इन अवर बॉडी आई विल गिव यू आंसर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ सिंपल वे वॉट आर मसल्स The muscles are a group of muscle tissues which are composed of specialized cells called muscle fibers. These muscle tissues contract together to produce a force. Muscles are necessary for little movements like smiling and for big movements such as running or throwing. Now let's talk about the functions of muscles. Muscles provide the strength to the human body. They also gives you balance. Muscles also help to keep the body in correct position when someone is sitting or standing. This is known as a posture. The muscular system's main function is to allow movement. When muscles contract, they contribute to movement. Muscles also provide heat for the body to keep warm. Let's talk about types of muscles. Muscles are classified on the basis of their location. There are 3 types of muscles in human body. They are smooth muscles cardiac muscles and skeletal muscles let's discuss about smooth muscles smooth muscles are involuntary muscles means they work automatically without you being aware of them smooth muscles are located in various internal structures including the digestive tract in digestive tract they are present in esophagus where they help to transport material from the mouth to the stomach in stomach construction of these muscles help to mix and break the food into a suspension of nutrients called chyme they are also present in your intestine where these muscles contracts to push food through your body muscles in your bladder wall contract to expel urine from your body Muscles in women's uterus help to push babies out of the body during childbirth. These muscles are also present in the walls of passageways such as the arteries and veins of the circulatory system. These muscles in the arteries and veins contracts or relaxes to change both the volume of blood vessels and the local blood pressure, a mechanism that is responsible for the redistribution of the blood within the body. to areas where it is needed both male and female reproductive systems include smooth muscles in women during menstruation smooth muscles in the uterus contracts to expel the uterine lining smooth muscles helps sperm to move along the male reproductive tract to prevent urination during ejaculation by men the sphincter muscle constricts The tunica deltoides is a smooth muscle that contracts or expands to regulate temperature of the testicles. Smooth muscle cells in the ovaries contract when a woman ovulates. The smooth muscles in the uterus helps a woman to push out her baby as discussed earlier. Smooth muscles in the respiratory system are called ASM that is airways smooth muscles. These smooth muscles is used to control the diameter and length of the bronchi. They assist exhalation, mucus propulsion, ventilation, perfusion matching and protect the peripheral lung. In the eyes, the ciliary muscle, a type of smooth muscle, dilate and contract the iris and alter the shape of the lens. These muscles originate in the eye socket and work to move the eye up down side to side and rotate the eye there are six muscles that control all of the movement of the eye these muscles are the superior rectus inferior rectus lateral rectus medial rectus superior oblique and inferior oblique in the skin smooth muscle cells cause hair to stand erect in response to cold temperature or fear another type of muscle is cardiac muscle these 
are also involuntary muscles and works to keep your heart pumping through involuntary movements involuntary movements means they work automatically without you being aware of them just like smooth muscles cardiac muscle tissue is only found in your heart where it performs coordinated contraction that allow your heart to pump blood through your circulatory system it does this through specialized cells called pacemaker cells these control the con contractions of your heart your nervous system sends signals to pacemaker cells that prompt them to either speed up or slow down your heart rate your pacemaker cells are connected to other cardiac muscle cells allowing them to pass along signals this results in a wave of contractions of your cardiac muscle which creates your heartbeat third type is a skeletal muscles they are voluntary muscles they are under the control of somatic nervous system most skeletal muscles are attached to bones by tendons skeletal muscles as the name implies is any muscle that connects to and controls the motions of the skeleton skeletal muscles enable humans to move and perform daily activities they play an essential role in the respiratory mechanics they also protect the vital organs in the body skeletal muscles help in maintaining posture and balance they contribute to the maintenance of homeostasis in the body by generating heat heat is very noticeable during exercise when sustained muscle movement causes body temperature to rise Here comes the summary of our lecture. In this lecture, we discussed three different types of muscles. They are smooth muscles, cardiac muscles, and skeletal muscles. We have discussed all these three parts in detail. Now let's talk talk about some interesting fun facts about muscles. Muscles make up approximately forty percent of total body weight. your body contains more than 600 muscles these include the muscles you can feel in your arms and legs as well as muscles deep inside your body by comparison your body has 206 skeletal bones the largest muscle is a gluteus maximus it is the main extensor muscle of the hip though you may know it as the large muscle in the buttocks The gluteus maximus is the main muscle used to help you walk upstairs. The strongest muscle is masseter. It's a muscle in your jaw. It can close your teeth with a force as great as two hundred pounds. The smallest muscle in the body is stapedius. Your middle ear is a home. to the smallest muscle it is less than 1 mm long some of your busiest muscles are those controlling eye movements the hardest working muscle in your body is the heart it pumps out 71 grams of blood at every heartbeat daily the heart pumps at least 9450 liters of blood The heart has the ability to beat over 3 billion times in person's life. Hope you understood well. In my next upcoming video I will give you other interesting anatomy and physiological facts of human body. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Do like comment and share this video. For more information join the forum and group visit my Facebook page. I have provided the link in description below. Have a happy learning